How are you people? In this video, let us look at trachoma. Okay. So basically, trachoma where you have seen, you have already seen in the conjunctivitis types, right? Remember the conjunctivitis types uh, in that uh, video, we have covered what conjunctivitis is. In that types of conjunctivitis, we have seen there is infective conjunctivitis in which there is bacterial, right? Under bacterial, <clears throat> just think that chlamydial is another group, okay? There is a special name here, trachoma, okay? So, did you understand? Basically, trachoma is nothing but an infective conjunctivitis caused by the bacteria chlamydia. Okay, that's all. So, who is causing trachoma? Bacteria. Which bacteria? Chlamydia. Okay. So, it has a special name trachoma. That's all for that. Then, trachoma actually means rough, it seems. It means rough in Greek. Okay. Because of that appearance, rough appearance, they have given the name trachoma. Okay. So, basically, in chlamydia, the bacteria, in this chlamydia, there are many species. Okay. You have chlamydia trachomatis, you have chlamydia lymphogranulomatis, and then you have chlamydia cytacosis. Okay. So, basically, these two. Um, Tra chlamydia trachomatis and chlamydia lymphogranulomatis, they cause some problem in humans, okay. So, there are some serotypes like under this uh, chlamydia trachomatis, the A, B, B, A and C, they lead to hyperendemic trachoma. So, the trachoma word is used only here, okay. Hyperendemic trachoma, the word is used only for this. Chlamydia trachomatis species of chlamydia bacteria, the serotype A, B, B, A and C. Okay. So, just remember A, B, C. At least A, B, C you remember. Right. For those, those serotypes of chlamydia trachomatis will cause this trachoma in humans. Okay. So, transmission will be I to I. Okay. The D to K serotypes of chlamydia trachomatis will lead to what is called as adult inclusion conjunctivitis. Okay. So, it is called as paratrachoma, paratrachoma or it is called as neonatal and adult inclusion conjunction, we are saying conjunction, okay. This one is spreading from genitals to eye, please pay attention here, the adult inclusion conjunction is spreading from genitals to eye, okay. So, that is adult inclusion conjunction. Here we are concerned only with this trachoma. We will not deal with paratrachoma, adult inclusion conjunction, uh, in adult inclusion conjunction. We are not going into that. Okay. Now, what about this uh, lymphogranulomatis, the humans one? In this case, the L1, L2, L3 are the serotypes. This will cause lymphogranuloma venerum conjunctivitis, another type of conjunctivitis they are mentioning here. Lymphogranuloma venerum conjunctivitis. Okay. This will also spread from genitals to eye. And they are talking about the other chlamydia which is causing something in animals. We are not going into details of that. So, have you understood basically where we are, what we are trying to read today? Have you understood that much guys? We are trying to look at chlamydial conjunctivitis in which we will deal only with trachoma. Okay. Good. Then, they consider actually chlamydia as an organism which is midway between bacteria and virus. So, it shares some properties of both. Okay. Okay. So, let's get into trachoma. Okay. So, basically, this is caused by what? Chlamydia trachomatis serotype ABC. You can remember that much. It is also called as Egyptian ophthalmia. It was, was called as, was called as Egyptian ophthalmia. It is basically chronic keratoconjunctivitis. Pay attention here. Keratoconjunctivitis. So, it is affecting both the conjunctiva and the cornea, right? So, the superficial epithelium of the conjunctiva and the cornea are affected. Hence, it is keratoconjunctivitis. Both are involved here, okay? Here, what will you see? Mixed follicular and papillary response of the conjunctival tissue. You saw the photo, right? <clears throat> of how it looks. So, here you have seen. So, where are we? Okay. 
So mixed follicular and papillary response of the conjunctival tissue. This is why we are reading this if you want to know. It is the leading cause of preventable blindness in the world. So it is the, a preventable blindness. Okay. So what, what did we just look at? We lo looked at an introduction to trachoma. Just uh, see this chlamydia, how it works. It uh, Whatever epithelial cells will be there, right? Epithelial cells, it will invade the cytoplasm. Who is invading the cytoplasm, guys? The chlamydia trachomatis invades the cytoplasm of the epithelial cells. Okay. So, there is something here that they form some initial body inside the, uh, the cytoplasm. That initial body will then become elementary body. And these chlamydia, chlamydia, they give rise to intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies called as the HP body. That is the Halberstadter pro vasec bodies. Okay. Listen to this. Bodies. Chlamydia. HP bodies. Halberstadter pro vasec bodies. Okay. Guys, just wake up <clears throat> and listen what exactly is important in trachoma. In trachoma, what and all are important. The definition of trachoma is important. The WHO classification is important. The clinical features are important. Okay. The complications, the sequel, the treatment, what SAFE means, control project and Herbert's spits. Okay. These are the important topics in uh, trachoma. We'll come to the details. Anyways, let's continue. So, let us look at what the next thing here we is. Usually, guys, the trachoma comes in infancy and early childhood, okay? But there is no age bar here. <clears throat> and uh, uh, in trachoma endemic zones, the main source of infection is the conjunctival discharge of the affected person, okay? And this trachoma is more in uh, places where it is very dry and dusty weather, okay? Dry, dusty weather, what I'll tell you, say, infancy, childhood, little more it is but they are not saying it is only in them then in uh, endemic zones the main source of infection is the discharge discharge is the main source of infection they are saying okay so how does this trachoma spread what are the modes of infection let us look at that so basically there can be direct spread okay direct spread airborne waterborne right vector transmission Vector transmission uh, of uh, trachoma happens through flies and material transfer. Material transfer means like using towels and uh, right other things, handkerchiefs, towels, beddings. So, sharing these things can spread the infection. So, here they are saying that you sh using such kind of tools, right, sharing these tools which are um, a kajal, whatever kajal you're applying, those applicators if you're sharing also, it can spread. It's also called a surma. Pay attention here, guys. It is mainly seen in Africa and Asia. It is responsible for 15% of the world's blindness, the second to cataract. That is why trachoma is very important for exam also. So, in the next video, we will look at trachoma clinical features, okay? Clinical features we will look at in the next video. We look at the symptoms and all that. Then what else is there? Then we have to look at the WHO classification of trachoma, complications of trachoma, diagnosis, in which we look at the clinical diagnosis, the lab diagnosis, the differential diagnosis, with the what you should not confuse trachoma, all that it will come in differential diagnosis, management, how to treat, how to manage, what is safe strategy. There is something called a safe strategy. If you know about that, uh, if you want to know about that, you have to come for the next video. Right? So all this we will look at in the next video. Okay. Bye-bye.